Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shan Prabandha. This is episode 2 where I show you guys how you can code your own Discord bot using Discord JS. In the previous video, episode 1, I showed you how you can get your, your developer tools ready and your coding environment like Visual Studio Code and create your own private server where you, where you can add the bot to it and make it come online. So if you haven't seen that video, I strongly recommend that you check out that video first before you watch this one. So in this video, we're going to be adding custom commands to this bot. I'm going to be ending this video into two episodes. So basically, the, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you the basic command handler. In the next episode, I'm going to be showing you the advanced command handler. Basically, the difference is that the basic command handler is good for like small bots, and which only has like around 10 to 20 commands at max. Well, the advanced command handler is good for like bigger bots, which have a lot of commands, like 50, 100 commands. So that's where you want to use advanced command. So to get started, we're going to be using the basic command handler. So the first thing you want to do is determine your bot's prefix. So basically, a prefix is a symbol and which which the bot recognizes to respond to anything. So for example, it could be the exclamation key, the dollar sign, my, the question mark, or the subtraction sign, whatever it is. So basically the bot is able to respond to that. So in this case, let's just make it the exclamation mark. So we're gonna type const, and const prefix is equal to uh, open parentheses, it's called an exclamation mark, colon, semicolon. So there is our, we have established our prefix. So now what we're going to do is start coding our event. So we're going to type client dot on open parentheses message message and use error function. And um, we want to check for two things first. So the first thing we want to check for is that if the message that we're typing actually starts with the prefix, so the bot will be able to determine whether or not the message that was sent starts with the prefix. If it is not, the bot is going to ignore it. And the second that you want to make sure is that the command was not sent by a bot or another bot. So it will prevent people from abusing the bot and or prevent from people from spamming it. So the way we're going to set this up is if and over parentheses solution mark message dot content dot starts with and our prefix so basically if it starts with a prefix then it's gonna keep doing it otherwise it's just gonna ignore it then we're gonna use an operational or and which is basically shift backslash space and then message dot author dot bot and if that's true it's just gonna return it return so basically it's going to check for either of these conditions and if either of those are don't work it's going to just ignore it and move on from there. Now that we've done that we're going to set up our splice so let me show you what that is. So we're going to type const args is equal to message dot content dot slice and prefix dot length split and then open parentheses backslash and space the addition key and then backslash and then semicolon so basically what this does is if suppose we type youtube and gshot so basically what this does is the bot will be able to determine that we have two commands right here right so we'll be able to like search for them individually so and then next we're going to type is const command command is equal to args shift parentheses to lower case and then that semicolon. Okay, right, so now that we have that we have those things out of the way, we can start coding our command. The first command that most people do when they start off is the pink command. So I'm gonna type if command is ping message dot channel dot send and we're just gonna play with the pong. And then we should be able to run the bot now. So we're going to open up our command prompt. If you're on macOS, open up your terminal. And once again, make sure to cd into the folder where your code is stored. So to run our bot, we simply have to type node space dot. If you're unsure what that means or how to get that, make sure to watch out episode one where I show you in detail how to set this up and what basically that means. So let's now press enter and it says bot is ready and if we go back and we type ping 
as you can see, the bar will apply pong. So we can keep adding commands. So all we have to do now is simply type else if command equals the YouTube um, open brackets message dot channel dot send and then we, we can paste my YouTube link which is in this case that custom my custom URL and quotation marks and close this with a bracket and save that and then let's press control C and I would space dot and let's say ping on YouTube YouTube link and if we want to make this a little bit fancier we can say and we can actually bold this statement so we can type double asterisk at the beginning and the end save and then run it again and here is Sean's YouTube link now I'm going to show you in later videos how you can make embeds make this all fancier so before we end this video I want to show you how you can advance this ping command right here so an additional thing that we're going to add to our ping command real quick is the latency which will check back the response time from our bot and to our discord api so we're going to here where the message.channel.send is pong we're going to change the quotation mark to change it with the key that's above your tab then we're going to type pong and latency is a dollar sign and brackets date dot now and parentheses my subtracting from the time that the message was sent. So message dot created time step and then close that in the milliseconds. So let's save that and let's run this part again. And if we type ping now, oh sorry, prefix ping. And it shows the latency. Pong latency is 71,186 milliseconds. So the YouTube command should also work. And one problem that I've seen that many people are asking is so if we now type ping, as you can see, there's like two, and then we type YouTube, and then we have like two links. So basically, every time you send something, it's gonna reply, the bot's gonna reply twice, or however many times the the in the program is running. So basically all you have to do is just close one of them. So in this case, well, as you can see, you have two command prompts running. So just close one by pressing, pressing Control C, and that should exit out of there. And now if we type ping, only one will respond, and same with YouTube. So we can keep on adding how, how many other commands you want here. You just copy else if, and then keep finishing it off. Uh, so th as you can see, this gets this eventually gets messy and it's not efficient. So in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create an advanced command handler, which is basically going to for each command there's going to be a separate file, an individual file, so which will be more efficient and it's more easy to look through for your code in case you have any errors. So that's so make sure you stick around for that video that will be dropping next week. So. That's it for this video. Hopefully you like this video and now you can add some custom commands to your bot. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't seen it in any of the other previous videos, there are some great tutorial videos I've made in the past. So make sure to check those out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.